This right here is a, a good six figure product. Look at the first packaging. One. First one that made me six figures. First six figure product right here. 24 carats, you know, like foil. This is like the amazing Valentine's Day marketing thing. We could we could try this coming back up and it still work a little bit. Nobody With Facebook for sure. Nobody sells it anymore. We got the data. Yeah, we definitely have the data on Facebook. That stuff's crazy, but there you go, six figure product. This guy. Hang on, Kieran, Kieran. Uh, we have a question for you He's for the video. Let me call you back in 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. All right, then we're gonna get Tanner's opinion on it first, okay? This is gonna be a little bit echoey maybe. We're in the warehouse getting some stuff done. Tanner, we have a question. He has absolutely no idea what I'm doing, what the question is, okay? Are you ready for it? No. Is it even worth starting drop shipping? No. No. Okay. Of course we're, it wait, is. Wait, we're, we're gonna flip this. We're gonna start, <laughs> this, is, this is why I have to make this because I've made so, you know a lot of stuff obviously on e-com we both have talking about a lot of stuff all the videos I've really seen about everybody talking about this oh, he's calling it's immediately yes 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 we're gonna start with the negatives in a second updating the car shipment because he's moving okay Kieran we have yeah. a question we have a question for you for the video okay because you don't do drop shipping you do social media marketing this is why it's gonna be a good thing to get your perspective Okay. Is the whole the whole topic is is it even worth drop shipping? I want you to argue why it's not. Why it's not? Well, you can't make me pick a position. No, no, no. Because we're we're both gonna start. Obviously, we we know it is, and we're gonna talk about that. But we're gonna start this video um, with the reasons why there's other business models that are better. Oh, dude, saturation, profit margins. Um, I mean, you have to learn like a number of different skills uh, to be successful at it too. You know, you have to learn marketing, you have to learn web design kind of in a way um, to, to design a really good looking Shopify store. You have to learn Facebook ads, you have to learn influencer marketing. Like, There's a lot of different skill sets that you need before you can actually become su successful and scalable at it. Um, yeah, I guess those are my three main reasons. So for yeah. example, things like social media marketing, you know, you really only have to kind of learn sales and like the basics of the business. Then once you get paid, you could literally yeah. go outsource it. You know, exactly. you, you could with e -com, but then you're, you're putting your front end money into that. Yep, yep, exactly. So I think that's the biggest reason, but I don't know. I also, dude, I've been telling Hayden this for a while. Like, I, I'm like, I know everything, and I, I know Facebook ads like the back of my hand, so I feel like um, if I wanted to start a Shopify store, I feel like I could do something with it, but I just 100%. don't know enough about, about product research or anything Yeah, there's like that. a lot, you know, again, like that's like what you said, there's a lot of variables, a lot of skills. Yeah, exactly. 100%. So, Boom, yeah, bro. there it is. We will give you a call back after this video. Okay, sounds All right. good. Later, brother. Peace. Okay, and there you have it. We're gonna call him after to, to finish the conversation. Can't just leave him on a, a hang up. But that's a great perspective. I really like that. We're gonna start this off with, you know, again, like arguing the other side. I believe you should be able to argue the other side, which is what I was talking about in uh, a video we filmed. You know, you gotta be able to at least argue it from a good stance. Pros and cons. So there's a lot that goes into it, for sure. You know, versus social media marketing, like that's residual too. Like for you know, but you have the comparison other side. Like for Shopify, a good thing about that, it can become very passive. Other businesses can well. Now, one thing I feel like almost nobody's gonna ever bring up when talking about this, which I know is huge, is personality type. Like for social media marketing, you got to be out there talking to real business owners. Like you actually have to, that can be scary. Those are like high ticket clients, not just yeah. trying to sell a twenty dollar product. No, online. yeah, there's you know they're investing thousands and in like monthly and like there can be contracts. So that's a real thing. You know, you're you're putting their business out for the world to see. They got to be able to trust that. So you're learning sales and persuasion. But you know, I've tried to do this. I've done social media marketing. I have clients that have been automated for a very long time. But when I was first getting into it, I was still the biggest introvert. I grew up an introvert. So walking door to door to it's real tough. I've done door-to-door -door sales first of all that's a whole nother separate terrible thing but business to business as an introvert oh my god I was I was sweating so hard I was shitting myself and obviously you get used to it it was very important have you ever done door-to-door -door business to business not like oh buddy I gotta on. take you I mean out, I've bro. definitely done door-to-door -door for some basic stuff but like as far as getting high ticket clients like actually trying to go find clients by like going to a restaurant going to a store just like going in and talking to the owner, you know, asking for the manager, whatever it is, like that takes a lot of effort. And even now to this day, I feel like, like I'm also introverted, like in school and stuff, I'm just always so quiet. Everywhere I go, I'm quiet. And it's not because you can't talk, it's just you didn't care to, you know? Exactly, like if I'm talking in school, why would I say something with everybody around me doesn't understand anything about business or whatever. It just doesn't relate to sort of what I like talking about. 
Um, but even to this day, like it's still sort of like, I get a little bit nervous, like talking to business people in person. Like it's sort of, yeah. it's sort of hard. No, it, it definitely can be. Like every time you elevate, like I remember when I was first talking to my first billionaire, like at a sit down, like at a restaurant with three people, and I knew he was a billionaire. Like you know, like you got to think about all sorts of different things, like playing an ego, how you're standing, how you're talking, your voice, the tone, like how you're positioned, literally everything with that. So it's, there's a lot that goes into it. And you know, if you guys are an introvert versus a big extrovert, maybe if you're an extrovert, sales is something for you. I'm going to go take him doing some sort of door to door at some point. You have to, it sucks, <laughs> bro. It sucks. Yeah, we're going to the mountains. It'll be a lot of fun taking the Jeep actually. We're waiting for it to get the brakes fixed. But, um, kind of pivoting back let's now talk about the positives because obviously I believe which is why I do it there's so many more positives to e-com okay first of all you see these laptops right here we can sit right here we can have this same setup in the middle of a mountain I can have it back home it doesn't matter all I need is that laptop that's how we can make money so social media marketing if you want to actually like make new money you're out there closing businesses now there's things you can do online to close clients but you know just just for that example you know there's a lot of stuff where other businesses won't necessarily give you the opportunity to do that for example if you run a let's just say a store that sells jump ropes right that's it just a retail store yeah like in person the only way you can make money if you only sell in person is being there you know so first of all we get to do it remotely okay and then once we actually really build it and build the skills one specific ad or one specific product or one specific store can become very passive right so once it's already running and doing extremely well you know, I like it because yeah, there's a lot of moving parts and this is, this is kind of like the whole contrary thing of what Kieran said. He said saturation. There's a lot of people doing it successfully, but there's way more doing it unsuccessfully. And I know for a fact, based on running my YouTube channel, that so many people give up too early. So I know that I'm not going to give up. So as long as you actually stick with it, it'll work. There's no right? like guaranteed proven method or anything like that to make money with drop shipping, whether it's making $100 or $100,000, there's no exact way, you know, two plus two equals four. It's not like that with drop shipping where you do these two specific actions that are variables and put them together to get success. It might spit out 63, like, you don't even know. <laughs> exactly, like seriously. Exactly, and the other thing is just like, people don't test products long enough. They'll test one product and they'll test it wrong and they're like, oh, drop shipping is dead, doesn't make money. Or, or the classic line, it's not for me. Exactly. Look, nothing's for anyone until you kind of figure it out. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of different stuff that goes in. I think it's a very interesting topic. Um, I want to also bring up the point of marketing versus advertising. Again, like there's a lot of skills you have to learn. A lot of people don't understand the separation between that. You know, marketing is typically viewed as telling a story, right? You're you're moving someone emotionally. Advertising is like, yo, let me pull up Facebook ads real quick and like, you know, run an ad and like I understand the platforms and what buttons to press. And while you know, I teach people how to do this based on what I do. Not based on what he does, not based on what Joe Schmo in the background does, just on what I do. I do a lot of different things. So I can't show everything about e-commerce because I don't know it. I don't pretend to know it. I don't care to know it. I don't need to know it. All I need to know is what I'm doing and why it works and then I can show other people that. But the thing is a lot of people start learning something they're like, wait, but you didn't talk about this but then Tanner was talking about it in his video. Don't you need this or that? You gotta pick one thing, right? You, know, you gotta focus on one thing first, then you can branch out. So I feel like a lot of people get confused, you know, in like certain situations, certain ways to make money. There's just so many ways to do it that there's not one way that's the best or one way that's the worst. Um, it's just about finding what works best for you and adding your own twist to it to make it work for you. Um, not everybody has the same strategy, strategies, the same methods to making money with e-commerce. There's just so many variables involved that there's no, um, you know, best or worst way, like I said, it's just about testing. Yeah, exactly, like testing's huge. You know, this is drop shipping, okay? I'm not even talking about like private labeling or like holding inventory, which he has a ton of inventory. <laughs> Go check out the video actually from a few days back showing a product reveal, um, you know, physical inventory. This is just drop shipping. Like I don't believe the business model of drop shipping is ever really gonna go away. Because there's always, first of all, new products being flooded into the marketplace that people don't even know they want until you show it to them. So at some point, someone has to be the first one to advertise a product. So we wanna keep it running, we wanna keep flowing with that, and drop shipping is where you're never touching a product. So you're not necessarily fully committed, which goes back to the whole testing thing. You can test so fast. You know, you could theoretically test, what, five products today. Yep. You know, you just throw it up on the store, run some ads. So it's really all about that process, following through with it. 
Um, that's about it. I wanna give you guys the opportunity to ask any single question because maybe some of you are just starting. I feel like that's where a lot of people are at most likely. Yep. Um, or maybe you know, you're know you starting to get some momentum but you don't know how to take it to that, that next level. First of all, it's gonna be the marketing, advertising, and product research as well as testing end of it. That's like the two main things, actually getting someone to buy and what product. So that's what I focus on so much in the new Ecom Remaster 2.0 program. That's why so many students inside of there are crushing it. But you also have to understand, there's a lot of micro things. I personally view e-commerce as a puzzle. Have you ever completed a puzzle in person? Maybe when I was like 10. Yeah, maybe a little 50 piece. I can't do any of, of the big course. ones. That shit, too confusing, takes too long. E-commerce is like a 100 piece puzzle. So you can get probably 90 to 95 pieces out of it for free on YouTube, okay? Whether it's, you know, like building a store, app, setting stuff up, maybe a little bit on ad copy, email, and you can figure out a lot of different little twists on your own once you're doing it. But it's really those only, those couple main pieces that you can't get. You just won't get it for free anywhere. And you should also make sure that all your pieces at least relate to one specific strategy that you're learning on the marketing end of things. Right, because if you're trying to build whatever, let's say this is a Ford, and then you're taking the Porsche that's in between that that you guys can't see, and you're trying to put like just you know 10 pieces from the Porsche inside the truck, the truck's not gonna run. Okay, it's probably not gonna run if you're trying to mix the engine. So you gotta kind of think about it's why it's uh, like stick to one specific strategy. So if you guys are just getting started, you're already getting things going, I want you to like ask any question you have. You know, what do you believe is like holding you back right now from getting to that next level? Maybe it's building your first store. Maybe it's getting your first sale, your 100 sale, scaling past 5K a month, 10, 100, whatever that is. Drop it in the comments down below. I'm gonna go through, I'll share it with Tanner as well. We'll give you some of our feedback over the next few days. Um, and let us know, you know, because a lot of people are in different stages. I know it takes time. There's a lot of different things, but is it worth doing? Final answer, one word. Yes. Yes. Go for it. If you know what you're doing, okay? And if you don't know what you're doing, that's fine, but just know that you have to go figure that out. Too many people go in blindsided without actually trying to learn anything ahead of time. They see one YouTube video about it. Um, they and start, they think it's easy like right fail. away. It's not easy. It's fairly yeah. simple, but you know, again, it's, it's going to take time. It. There's a lot for sure. Definitely. You just got to learn it. It's so just, it's not common knowledge. A lot of people don't yeah. understand all the specifics that really go into it. So they think it's easy. You know, you see the uh, Shopify daily. All right, five grand <laughs> in a day. Awesome. And none of that stuff is taught in exactly. school or anywhere in common day. So it's all these, you know, it's, it's literally all principles you have to learn out on your own. So Definitely do that. Do your best. Watch these YouTube videos, whatever. Get inside the program. Cut your learning curve down significantly. Ask us any questions. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And as always, join the family, join the gang. Help me get to 100K subs. Tanner's past 70 now. Almost past 80. Crazy. Ooh. We're going to get to 100K real quick, though. Hit that nice looking subscribe button down below. And with that being said, I'll be seeing you tomorrow in the next video. Peace.